transportation activities, renewable energy, real estate, all in line with the agreements, uh, the COP agreement signed in Paris a few years ago. At the launch ceremony, the chairman of the Debt Capital Markets Development Project at the FMD Kyoto, Mr. Bolaji Balogun, and an associate uh, executive director, Tumi Sekoni, spoke more on the scope of the project and the future of the security. I think it opens up another significant vista for financing in Nigeria. Last year, the government of the country issued its first sovereign green bond. That really sort of set the path, you know, for us beginning to examine and utilize green bond financing as a significant source of financing for low carbon infrastructure across Nigeria. If you think about Nigeria and you think about all of the country's problems, to a large extent, many of the solutions can be found in debt capital markets. Whether it's financing our infrastructure, or it's financing housing, or it's financing education, or even financing healthcare, all of Nigeria's major issues have capital market solutions, and all of them have even better green bond solutions. Um, this, you know, really is um, an important, you know, you know, part of Nigeria. Keeping its commitments to the obligations we signed at COP21 um, and, and recognizing, you know, the need for us as a nation, you know, not only to reduce emissions, but also to begin to contribute sustainably to how we finance a variety of things from afforestation across the country, primarily in the north, where there's a significant problem with desertification, but also in parts of the south, you know, where there's serious issues with erosion, and this creates significant movements of people. You know, when you think about, you know, the challenges, for example, that you have across the country, you know, with migrant herdsmen, it's fundamentally an infrastructure problem. It's a migration, you know, you know to water or in the direction of water. And when you begin to think about how capital markets can solve many of these situations, it's quite, you know, um, significant. Um, one of the, um, you know, beautiful opportunities we had, a number of people, was to inspect the projects where the proceeds of the first Nigerian green bond were utilized. And the beauty of green bonds or instruments like Sukuks, essentially, is that they are dedicated, they have to be ring-fenced, um, they will go direct to project, so therefore, to a large extent, it removes the opportunity for people to tamper with them. You cannot spend the money, you know, on paying, you know, government salaries. You cannot spend the money, you know, on, you know, servicing the government's debt. It has to go to projects specifically. And I think this is something that's important to Nigerians and which Nigerians want to know. They want to know that there is significant efficiency in every dollar spent you know, whether by the government or spent by companies that they're invested in or spent by their state in building infrastructure and building a significant amount of other social infrastructure projects which are essential to the country's development. The reality of this is that it's going to be a lot of work. It's going to be a lot of hard work because, uh, as you probably heard a lot of speakers say, it's, it's good that we have started the process, you know, getting people aware. But when it comes to implementation, that's where we'll probably be faced with challenges. But, but as, as we know, nothing good or nothing great really uh, comes easy. So this is going to be trying to fix um, years or not even just decades, maybe centuries of, of things that have been going wrong. So we don't expect it to happen in one day, two days, maybe even in a few years. But it's important that at least we start laying the foundation. So yeah, it's... Reality is, is going to be a lot of hard work, but I think collectively we'll be able to achieve what we want to achieve. So the Green Bond is not a loan product because it has a lot of operators from all walks of life to come feast on it. There are optics, yes, that question was answered by some operators as well as regulators. But first we'll listen to the acting director general of the Securities and Exchange Commission, Ms. Mary Uduk, who gave assurances on how the proceeds will be spent. Us is regulation, regulation, regulation all the way. And like I said earlier, part of it is to sort of monitor uh, the use of proceeds. You, 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 
um, we have been told by Justine that one of the most important aspects of uh, green bond issuance is the issue of disclosure. It is important that um, that issues or, or the projects are properly disclosed in the offer document. So when you come to the market and issue this um, uh, the bond, we take it and then we ensure we monitor what you do with the process. And one of the the, the things is that um, the process has been changed because they are supposed to be in a dedicated account that is uh, domiciled with the custodian. And therefore, they are not commingled with any other kind of uh, funds. That will cut out the, um, the story that we have had in the past where uh, bond issues were used, or proceeds rather, were used to pay salaries. That will not happen because um, you will not get investors coming back. And therefore, the, the, the commission has, a, um, has provisions you know, on how to monitor all of that. And of course, there's, there's also stiff um, penalty you know, for, for violation of, um, of, 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 of the process. So therefore, all of these are well put up together to ensure that um, the market integrity is properly protected that there's transparency around um, the use of, of, of the proceeds and all of that. That's Ms. Mary Uduk, the Acting Director General of the Securities and Exchange Commission. We'll take a break now and come back with some foreign perspectives of the Green Bond.